From the Tsumeb mine Namibia, now I need to look at this one under magnification. From what I see on the reflections, we're most likely looking at cerisite, quite heavily uh, um, stained with iron oxides or uh, uh, black in appearance inclusion. So here we might find the likes of uh, some Chalka Trichat, for instance, but I think mainly uh, um, a cerisite. So let's have a sideways view of the specimen. A little bit of projection off the main ore. Typically I'd expect to find some Smithsonite associated as well. Now let's see how closely we can zoom. Now we're first of all looking at this section. That is a little bit overexposed. All crystalline formation of uh, what appears to be cerisite from the old Sumeb mine Namibia. The relative weight of the specimen is pretty, pretty heavy. Um, let's go around and then uh, we've got another point of display on this side. We've got a cavity over here. So as is, not at all unappealing. Uh, under magnification, of course, this is where the true beauty of Tsumeb comes up. Where you see all these, this world of wonders uh, awaits uh, for a stereoscope, of course. I think we may be looking at a bit of Smithsonite there as well, quite possibly. And maybe there, there doesn't seem to be a lot of galena in the matrix. Galena usually has a cubic fracture zone, which makes the things quite heavy. But cerocyte makes specimens quite heavy as well. It is quite heavy. Uh, phytogenically, well, uh, my still picture isn't all that good, so hopefully this assists a little bit.